Also, camera, AA, turn on the depth of field. Maybe we'll offset the layer's uh, position a bit. Now, our depth of field is going to be a nice way to add uh, you know, some interesting blur to this. So if we turn that up, you can see the layers blur out. And as they come together, we need to set the focus distance. So just adjust that until uh, you get that about right. And that way, the layers you know, just go out of focus. And as they come together, turn up the uh, rotation. As they come together, you know they can create an interesting look. Now, the one thing about this particular method is that it's essentially using the rotation for the center of each chunk. So, if I select a layer, I'll turn the mask back on here. If I select one of the layers, you can see the anchor point is at the center of that layer, and the reason why is because the script automatically did it that way. But what about the original example I showed you? Uh, let's see, it's called Shift, where the layers are actually rotating around the center, this point, and then they're coming together. So here you can see we have uh, you know, a couple of lights. We have sort of an orange, green light, and we have a blue light, and that adds the different layer of depth here. And you can just see how I cut that particular layer up and the shadows are also on for that particular comp, which I can show you that in just a moment. But anyway, the layers are rotating around the center, and the reason they are is because the original layer has the anchor point in the center. So to adjust that, I'm just going to delete all of the copies. And what we need to do is go into our script editor, and we're going to open that script that we just downloaded, and select it and choose OK. And the script has a bunch of lines of code, a bunch of crazy stuff, but the main thing you want to look at is right here. Want to move anchor point to mask? No. So we're going to type false. And what that's going to do is leave the anchor point alone. So go ahead and save the script. It's okay if you mess it up, you can just re-download it from the site. I've already had to do that several times uh, during this tutorial, in fact. Um, what we'll do is select that layer once again, turn it on, Select it, we'll choose File, Script, Run Script, select that same script, Open, and then we can check out the animation. And we'll shut off the position adjustment. So that's zero. Instead, the layers are just rotating around that center point. And here we can turn that value up to just kind of create a lot of overlapping and craziness. So that's, you know, the idea here. We can adjust the random um, seed here so that you know it just does different things every time and maybe we want to turn on the motion blur so if we take all the layers here turn on the motion blur switch turn on the motion blur switch for the comp and then you have some nice uh, blur as the layers you know go swinging around and we can take a quick look at that let's see zero so you can see it's just a cool way to create some random movement gives your titles a little bit more life. Speaking of titles, you're probably wondering what this Angry Monsters 2 is. Well, it's just a little movie project I've been working on. Um, it's actually not a sequel, but I thought if it's part two, people will think that you know there was an original and that it was good enough to make a sequel. And people will think it's actually good, which it's not. But now, the one other thing I did to add a little bit more life to this kind of an animation is to adjust and animate the camera also. So if we hit P, R, A, we can animate the camera and, you know, create an interesting way to come into this animation. So if we were to animate the camera in, you know, an interesting way, it, uh, you know, spins and, and does something wild and abstract. Uh, so definitely play around with the camera. It's a good way to, you know, lead this illusion in. So now that we've got the whole concept underway, which hopefully you'll see, it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to actually take a look at creating something um, a little bit more specific. So what we're going to do is take a look at that, uh, that initial example of the monster movie graphic where the title comes in by itself, we have the smash down, and then flies out. So 
pretty basic stuff, but you know, fun example uh, of creating some some graphics. So let's create a new composition, and we'll go and use the same settings. We'll call this movie comp, and we'll choose OK.